Hey guys, Bitcoin has surged to 30,000 and Wall Street giants are ready to flood the crypto market with fresh new billions of dollars. Which top three altcoins are the big players already investing in? And has the bull market begun? Let's find out now. Bitcoin is on the cusp of a bull market and it is very important not to miss the next strong rise in altcoins. So now I am going to break down the preconditions for growth and then detail which three altcoins will be bought by companies with trillions of dollars under management. After BlackRock filed for the Bitcoin ETF, its example was followed by five other large trillion dollar funds, Fidelity, Invesco, Valkyrie, Wisdom Tree, and Bitwise. These are all the traditional finance companies that want to make money from the crypto industry and are willing to play big. It is very likely that the world's first spot Bitcoin ETF will be approved in the next few months, which I expect will push the BTC price to 50,000. All of the previous nine weeks of Bitcoin's decline due to tightening regulations were overlapped by one weekly bullish candle. The mood in the market has changed very sharply to positive. I think this is good because many people did not have time to buy Bitcoin cheaply. Usually, this is how the rallies happen. On June 20, we entered into a new era of crypto. Wall Street giants such as Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Citadel Securities, and others launched EDX, a crypto exchange for institutional investors. The advantage of the exchange is that clients' assets will be held in the wallets of the intermediary, not the exchange itself. This is done to avoid SEC regulatory risks, as well as a repeat of the FTX situation where the head of the SAM exchange had direct access to customer funds and used them to play casino games. Whales will be able to trade only four assets on the EDX exchange, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. The last two altcoins I am going to break down in the second part of the video but now I would like to touch on one other important topic from the head of the Fed. Testifying before the House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday, Jerome Powell said that crypto appears to have the staying power as an asset class. Powell discussed the recent interest rate pause and the host of topics regarding the digital asset industry. The Fed had also added that he considers cryptocurrencies a form of money. The market is gradually coming to life and there are opportunities to make money on trends. Pepe meme coin has been at the top for the last 24 hours, which points to another meme coin season and a chance to earn lots of X's. One such opportunity is the pre-sale of Wall Street memes, the ideological successor to the Wall Street bets movement when private investors banded together to challenge Wall Street hedge funds. The idea behind Wall Street memes is to promote memes on financial topics with a powerful community of 1 million people. Monetization of memes will be done via a token which will appear on exchanges in the future and its owners will receive exclusive benefits. Right now, you can buy Wall Street memes token at a pre-sale price of less than 3 cents per BNB, Ether or USDT. There is also a contest on the project website with a giveaway of $50,000 in Wall Street meme tokens. To participate, all you have to do is simple things like subscribing to their Twitter. You will find the link to the project below the video. In part two, I'm going to break down three altcoins that Wall Street giants will invest in. And at the end, I've prepared a bonus asset that not many people have heard of. So be sure to watch till the end. As I promised at the beginning of the video, let's take apart the altcoins that will be traded by the whales on the EDX exchange. Let's start with the asset Bitcoin Cash. In 2017, a group of miners didn't like the Bitcoin network's expensive fees, so they decided to create a hard fork Bitcoin with cheaper fees and faster transactions. In fact, the Bitcoin network split into two parts, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, and all the BTC holders got BCH tokens at $240. In 2017, BCH surged a lot with the price reaching the $4,000 mark but then faded in a bear market. In 2021, the pump was already weaker, down to just $1,600. Now, Bitcoin Cash has attracted investors' interest again for three reasons. First, if Bitcoin cannot be called a security, Bitcoin Cash cannot be called a security either. 
because BCH tokens were not sold, but appeared as a result of a technical event. Second, BCH is one of the four assets available for trading on the EDX exchange launched by Wall Street's White Collars. The asset has a capitalization of only $2 billion, which is nothing for the funds. Plus, there will be additional demand for the assets as many will start buying BCH as a cheaper version to Bitcoin. And third, do not forget that Hong Kong also legally allowed trading crypto assets, among which there is Bitcoin Cash in the list. As you can see, there are enough reasons for the growth, so let's go over the analysis. On the daily chart, BCH has been in the accumulation zone for a year. Resistance level is in the price of $167. The recent 20% growth took place within this sidewall, so it is too early to talk about a trend reversal, but the preconditions already exist. An important thing to mention would be that I am not urging you to run and buy the token right now, but it is worth adding to your watch list. If some movement happens, I expect the sharp growth in the area above $300, where the main distribution will be. And now let's look at the next interesting asset. I have already made several videos about Litecoin. If you haven't seen any, be sure to check them out on our channel. Now I will give an update on the market and my thoughts on this asset. Let me remind you that Litecoin halving will happen in just over a month which may draw additional attention to the asset. In addition, it is one of the four tokens that are traded on the EDX exchange. In general, the situation is similar to Bitcoin Cash, so let's go straight to the charts. On the daily chart, we see how LTC recovered quite quickly after the fall a week ago and maintained a local uptrend. This indicates the strength of the buyers who keep the price above $70. In my previous videos, I showed you that LTC was reaching its peak a month before the halving. But now I think the situation is different because the big whales didn't just add this asset to their exchange. And if you look globally, the prices now are rather attractive. But I'll say it again, you shouldn't buy assets when the whole market is green. You have to have a buying strategy and specific selling targets, not impulse purchases. Please keep an eye on this. At the end, as I promised, I found a bonus token for you. Why do you think only four assets were chosen by institutionalists to trade? Because these very assets with 99% probability are not securities. But there is one more project about Bitcoin, which was not mentioned. It is Stacks with STX token. Stacks is a Bitcoin layer for smart contracts. It enables smart contracts and decentralized applications to use Bitcoin as an asset and settle transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. It is the first token offering officially approved by the SEC. Blackstack managed to raise 23 million investments in 2019, all of which were settled by the SEC. This was the first reason for SDX's growth. Second, Bitcoin's dominance has reached a record 51% since the beginning of 2021. What does that tell you? Bitcoin is the most important asset in the market right now. Funds want Bitcoin ETFs. Celsius is willing to convert assets into Bitcoin. Everybody wants Bitcoin. And there is a chance that DeFi on the most important coin will have the same popularity as Ethereum. Then the price of the STX token will just explode. On Monday, I posted on Twitter that STX might be scooped up. Since then, the asset has surged almost 50%. I suggest that you subscribe to our Twitter to buy assets before the rise, not after it. That's all for now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching your CoinPost.